Hey what's up coders welcome to one little coder in this tutorial we're going to learn how to build a chatbot UI using Gradio application this is the second part of my first tutorial where we used Google's Flan a large language model and Langchain and GPT index or Llama index to use an open source language model to build a Q&A bot but we left that code at Google Colab and we did not create a UI and a lot of people had been asking me that we should actually build a UI. So this is basically the second part of that first video. So I would strongly encourage you to watch the first video if you need to understand how this chatbot actually works. But here we are going to build the front end and then we are going to build the front end in such a way that it looks like a chatbot and we are going to use one of our favorite tools Gradio for that. So first I would like to show you a quick demo of how it is going to look like. Then I'm going to take you into the code which is also in Google Colab and explain the chatbot part. I'm not going to explain the large language part, large language model part where we use Flan to build the Q&A bot but this is only going to be the front end and the Gradio part in itself. So let me show you how the chatbot looks like. This is how it looks like. Uh, you can go here and ask any question. So I've already pasted a document about Ashton Kutcher. So I'm going to ask a question. So um, what are the companies, companies where Ashton has invested? What are the companies where Ashton has invested? Okay, let's see if it mentions one or two companies. Okay, it says Virgin Galactic. Okay, um, what are the three companies? Let's see if it gives me more number of companies. It, it again gives me Virgin Galactic. So what are the startups? Let me ask a question different way. So what are the startups where Ashton has invested? Let's see if it says something. It says research gate. Okay, cool. So we have got an answer. Okay, who, what, who, who is Ashton? Kutcher? Who is who is he by the way? So he is an actor. Cool. When was Ashton born? And let's see if it gives the right answer. Empty response. We didn't get any response. Okay, let me ask it in a different way. What is the birth date of Ashton Kutcher? And then see what happens. February 21st, 1971. Let me go to the Wikipedia and then see February 7, 1978. That's wrong. So it is probably picked up a different date, but overall our objective is to say that this chatbot is actually working fine. So now what we are going to do is we're going to see the code part on how to build this chatbot in itself. First, let me take you to the Google Colab. So I'm going to stop this. So this is not going to work for now, but okay, let me stop it again. So this is the part, like if you have seen the first video, you know, we ended the code somewhere here. So we ended with index.query and then we asked the question and it responded. So now the rest of the part begins where we are going to build a UI user interface, a chatbot user interface using Gradio. Now, first thing that you need to do is pip install Gradio. Once you have successfully installed Gradio, then next you need to import Gradio as GR. Now, typically, if you have been watching our channel, you know that for Gradio, we need three important things. One is a function, second is an input, and third is an output. So typically, most of the Gradio applications that we have built on this channel had only one function. But today, we are going to build two functions and with two different tabs. As you have seen in the interface, you can see that we have two tabs. One is the tab where you can go paste the knowledge, the text in itself, and then ask it to build an index. And then you can ask the question with the knowledge bot. So for that, we need to, we need to have two core functions that Gradio will use to do whatever we are asking it to do. The first function I'm calling it build the bot and the second function I'm calling it chat. So what is the first function supposed to do? So the first function is going to take the input text and then it is going to build a llama index document and it is going to build a GPT simple vector index, which is the llama index. So this index we can use now to ask question about the chatbot. Now again, the input text string goes here and from that we are going to build a llama document and from that we are going to build the GPT simple vector index. Now the documents, embed model, LLM predictor, all these things are predefined. So the document comes from this. The LLM predictor is something that we have already defined using the large language model. In this particular case, the flan model and also the embedding model in this particular case is a hugging face embedding model. So these things are already predefined. So we are simply using GPT simple vector index to build an index. 
you're not returning the index it's being it's just stored there as an object but you can also store save the index as an index.json or something and then you can load it it's up to you the code is already available here if you want to do that but for now we have built the index object and with that we are going to return a message to the user saying indexing is successful so you can see that we have returned a message to the user saying indexing is successful after we have done that now we are going to build the second second function what is the second function the second function is a chat function where somebody can ask a question and then it is going to respond something but we want it to be a chat interface and also you know wouldn't it be fun if we have like the streaming response like how chat gpt does and this is exactly what we're going to do so the first object in this function is chat history so that is going to be always there so you're going to receive chat history and you're going to send chat history and then the next object is the user input so this is the actual question that the user is asking now um, when user asks the question you are going to do index.query with the user input so index has been already built index.query will let you ask or query this index so you're going to take the question from the user and do index.query and then get this output and that is going to be the bot response now this bot response is good it's a llama object llama response object but what we want to do is we want to kind of simulate what chat gpt has been doing the streaming response and thankfully gradio has a very easy hack to do the streaming response and that is exactly what i've done so we are going to create a temporary string here called response and that response is basically what we are going to use to create the streaming response so the entire response the bot response that we got it is a response object from that we are going to extract response so at this point bot underscore response dot response is a string now we are going to split the string by every character let's say you have got how are you h o w everything is going to be separate iteratable element so that's what we are doing here now we are going to iterate through every single letter in that string which is the response that the bot has given us and we are going to add it to response and while we are doing that we are going to return we are going to yield like in this case not return we are going to yield it so that it is it can be displayed to the user along with the chat history now that is done now we are going to talk about the ui design the user interface design so as you can see the gradio application we've got a very simple title we have got two tabs inside the first tab we have a text box where the input is collected and then we have a text box where this an output message is displayed and then we have a button in the knowledge bot tab we have a simple chat interface at the top but there is no button all you have to do is type the question here send it type the question here send it so that's exactly what we are going to design now we are going to use gradio blocks gradio blocks as demo we have a simple markdown here so if you want title you can do title whatever you want q and a bot with hugging face models and we can say we want the first tab which is gr.tab input text document here they have a you have a text input you have a text output and then you have a text button now when you click the button then the function this is called with this input and this output so basically you are telling this that when the first tab in the first tab you are going to have three elements on the screen an input text box an output text box which you cannot edit and then a button and when the button is clicked the function called build the bot is going to be called with the input text and whatever the output text is being returned by the function will be displayed in the text underscore output now the second tab is called knowledge tab now what do we do in the knowledge tab we're going to build a chatbot that's why gr.chatbot and we are going to have a text box where you can send a message and instead of having a button to create a chat interface we are going to use the text box itself as a submit option so you can submit like directly from action from the text box in itself and when you do that we are going to call the function called chat and instead of sending only one object we are sending a list here which has the chatbot which is the chat history and also the message which is the user what they have typed and we are going to get the response as chatbot again so instead of sending a string getting a string we are going to send the chatbot and again get the chatbot as an output that's what this yielding is going to 
the chat history plus user input response is going to help us do. So now at this point, all these are good and well, the UI has been designed the way we wanted. And you can see that we have got the demo. We are queuing it and then launching it. I'm doing it debug is equal to true just because I wanted to see if there is any error. But if you are very sure that there is no error, you can remove that. I'm going to run this and then I'm going to show you how the interface looks like. And then I'm going to give you a quick recap of the code. And also this time instead of Ashton Kutcher, we can try something. So let's see the code is run. I'm going to click this link. This is going to open in a new tab for me. I wanted it to be new tab. Q and A bot with hugging face models. Cool. Well and good. So this is the place where we can input a text box. So I'm going to go to Wikipedia and I'm going to look for somebody new. So I'm going to say Elon Musk. Okay. Probably I don't know how much the bot is going to screw up, but let's see Elon Musk. I'm going to copy all these things. It's, it's quite a big page. Honestly, it's a big page. Copy this, go to the Gradio application in the text box, paste this and then click build the bot. Once you click build the bot, it's going to take a bit of time. It took me about like two and a half, two point something seconds. Then it said indexing is successful. So indexing is done. I'm going to go to the knowledge bot. I'm going to ask a simple question. Click here, send the document. What is this document about? It, it says Ashton Kutcher. Is this still about Ashton Kutcher? Let me go see if there is any indexing issue. So the reason why the result showed Aston Kutcher is because I made two rookie mistake. One, when I was reading this user input, you would have seen that I was using text one, which is wrong. I should have been using input text. And the second mistake is even though that we are building an index, we are not actually making this index available globally. So we had to make this index available globally. And that's exactly why you can see that now I've made the index available globally. The right way to do is to return it or store it as a JSON object and then retrieve it. But just because this is a demo, I'm making this index available globally. The disadvantage in this case is if you have got multiple objects with index, then it might mess it up. So global is usually not advisable to do it, but because I know for sure that I'm using only one index here, this is going to work fine. So I'm going to rerun this code. Uh, like I said, I've fixed two things. One is the text list where I'm using input text. Second is making it index globally available. So I'm going to rerun this again, this, this, and this, and uh, let's see what is going to happen this time when I'm going to ask questions about Elon Musk. So I'm going to go click the link. Now, once again, paste the article from Elon Musk and then click build the bot. And then ideally it should say index saved successfully. Go to the knowledge bot. I'm going to ask, what is this about? It is going to tell me Elon Musk maybe. No, it's his Tesla. That's fine. And uh, then let's ask another question saying, when was Elon Musk born? And let's see, what does it say? It's going to tell us that June 28, 1971. So let's go see if it is June 28, 1971. Okay. It's June 28, 1971. So the next question that we are going to ask is, we are going to ask what are the companies started by Elon Musk? And then let's see if it answers one of the questions, right? Like at least like one of the companies. Okay. It says Tesla. That's fine. Is there any other company Elon Musk started other than Tesla? Most likely it will say yes, I think. Let's see. Okay. It said Tesla. It just said Tesla. Anyways, so we have successfully learned how to build a knowledge bot. If you still doubt the code, I would like to quickly show you one more demo. So instead of Elon Musk, let's pick somebody else. In this case, I'm going to get Bill Gates. So get Bill Gates. Get everything about Bill Gates. Mm, probably this is fine. Copy this, go back to the paste, paste it, click build the bot. It is going to now create the index, save it, go to the knowledge bot and then ask, what is this document about? And then let's see what it says. It says it's about Bill Gates. Okay. Who is Bill Gates? And it's going to say most likely Bill Gates 
it's just, it's just Microsoft. Okay, fine. So we have successfully learned to build a bot. You can now optimize this bot. You can you can use a different large language model and play with it. But at this point, we have successfully managed to build a chat bot on top of Gradio. I did not edit out my mistake because I wanted you to know what kind of mistake can cause what kind of problem. So I have I've kept that. If you are annoyed by that, I'm really sorry that I kept my mistake in the video. But I've heard from a lot of people who appreciate when I show my mistakes and the like the bugs and the errors that how do I resolve it? Uh, people have told me that helps. That's why I've kept it. So, so far in this video, we learned how to build a UI, a Gradio front end for a knowledge bot that we learned to build using Flan open source model, GPT index or Llama index and also Langchain. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Peace.